The Wavetable Zone in Halion 7 has been vastly improved with new tools for sound design. Let me show you. So here I have a Wavetable sound that I've created with a Wavetable synth and the first thing you will notice is that now we can have stereo samples as Wavetables and we can also use surround wave files as Wavetable sources. So I'm going to play this sound. And you can see, of course, the wavetable animating right there. But the engine has been improved quite a bit. So now we have many different options when it comes to sound design. So to give you a very quick example, I'm going to take this audio file. We don't talk, touch is lost and I'm going to turn this into a wavetable. So I'm going to take this file and drag it into my wavetable zone. And of course, I can start creating markers if I want to. Now, as you can see, we have a brand new view, so we can have a new FFT view right here. But we have a brand new mode for the wavetable creation, and this is the overlap add mode. And I want to show you the results that you can get out of this new mode. So I'm going to click on this, and now Halion 7 is going to start analyzing. And here is where I can select my overlap factor here. And with this mode, we can get results like this straight away. And of course, I can have my 3D map, our 2D wave, and our analyzer. So we can have a very, very good overview of our wavetable. Now, of course, we have our envelope here. We have our spectrum where we can start editing our spectrum if we want to. And we have the brand new filter page. And I'm going to show you some really cool things that we can do with a filter page. But before I do this, let me jump back to our main page. And this is where we can have everything that we need when it comes to real-time control and sound design. So what I can do now is I can activate hold and this will hold the last spectrum of the wavetable. So let me show you without it and with a hold. Or I can activate a loop, for example. Of course, I can change the speed. We don't talk, we don't talk. And I can even have acceleration for my wavetable speed. So for example, I can start with very fast and I can go slower by setting my target speed here using acceleration. So now you will see that it will start fast and then it will slow down until it reaches the target speed. We don't talk, touch is law. We don't talk, touch is of course, we can play with the format. We don't take, we don't take, and of course, we can have legato. We don't talk, touches law. We don't talk, touches law. We... As well as play with the multi oscillator. We don't talk, touches law. 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 So let me show you what we can do with the filter. If I go to my filter page, I can activate my filter and here's where I can start adding points and I can change the characteristic of my wavetable. And of course we have quite a few presets. So we have vowels, we have brick wall, band paths and so on and so forth. But one of the great things that you can do is that I can add a filter on my first wave and then I can go on the last wave and add a completely different filter curve, like the brick wall low pass in this case. And the great thing that's going to happen now is that while the wavetable is playing, the filter will interpolate and basically it will create these amazing morphing sounds. And I can start with something completely different. Let's start with a high pass. We don't talk, touch is 
and I can add any filter in between on all these waves. So maybe I want to add an E filter here. So you can understand how many different possibilities you have right there for sound design and for creating super interesting sounds that morph while you're playing your wavetable. I hope you enjoy all these amazing new features in the wavetable zone in Halion 7. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.